When I learned he had AIDS, I was devastated. Suddenly, all the props were kicked out from under my middle class thinking. And for the first time, I had to face something. Until then, it had been a sidelong glance at this wonderful, fragile thing called, called life. And now, pow! There it was, something real and horrible and important. I was going to lose somebody dear, someone, someone whose emotions I never let get past my insensitivity. My brother, my brother. The word brothers now took on such significance. When I heard, I, I flew down to Melbourne with some hesitation. Already the ravages of the disease were telling on him. He'd gotten to dinner. His eyes were full of his desperation. And then... But then everything was stripped away. All those feelings, all those years of pent-up, held-back, brotherly and sisterly emotion were stripped away. It's like when you slice open a melon and it falls apart. And there you have it, the guts of it. It's amazing how honesty heals. <sighs> the next few months were, were difficult. Difficult for me, that is. But Charles, he faced his fate courageously, with, with humor and goodwill. Preparing his friends, me, the family, for, for the end. <laughs> Charles passed away a few moments ago. It was a quiet end. I'll never forget the brightness in his eyes. It, it was as though his soul was suddenly Neon. My mother and father are still in there. I had to get out. Come out here in the hall and be alone with my thoughts for a while. While I was going through his things, I came across one of his poems. Understanding forms a dotted line, that thin and abstract with wavering intensity, circles the wind wilderness, and serpentines with pulsing light along dark streets where fear hides in little houses. The wavering of it can, can be seen only by the few who embrace it and find wisdom. For the others, it's merely a meaningless tendril, wavering there beyond reach and recognition, crying plaintively, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. <laughs>